While pursuing your game, what are you really planning to achieve? Is it getting up close and personal for that heart-pounding encounter, the experience of harvesting your quarry, or just being out where it's man versus animal? No cities, good friends, and the love of what we do. VW Outdoors, real Montana hunting. On this episode of VW Outdoors, we bring you along as my brother's roommates, Tegan and Caden, are back home from college for a late season mule deer hunt. We picked Tegan and Caden up at their house and headed out. We started out glassing just on ro the roadsides where we had good vantage points. We weren't turning anything up early on, just a couple does. So we headed up to our spot that always has been producing some really nice bucks and some really odd ones too. We went up there knowing that a couple bucks that were on the hit list, the cactus buck, a deer we call Spiky, and this other deer that we found that has a horn that goes across his face. And then there was another big deer up there we named Bait. BB, who Tegan was actually along with last year when he na when he got the name. Right as soon as we got out there, we got out of the pickup and walked down a fence line about 200 yards, and right away we seen a really nice buck. We weren't sure what it was, so we headed down the coulee. We made our way down and we found a little, I think it was a two point we found and we needed it to get out of the way so we sat tight for a little while while that little buck moved out of the way. After we got up onto the ridge to look at this buck we noticed that it was really nice. So we made our way along, but these does were coming up the coulee yes. at us. Um, half a mile. It was a really nice mule deer, probably about 160 class. But the problem right now is we got all these does that are filtering up this little drainage in the bottom. So we're kind of camping out right now. We give them some time to filter out, and then hopefully we can sneak over and catch this buck while he's bedded the wrong other direction. So we'll see how the sun goes. They were making it difficult to get to. And so we kept sneaking along and we finally got them to where they were on the opposite side of us. And we kept going and we stopped again a couple times to look at that buck. He was sitting up on this little ridge that came down just out in the sun. We got a pretty good look at him and we kept creeping along and we got up to where we seen these other two bucks. It was a we first noticed that there was this 2 by 3 that was definitely not a shooter. And we were sitting there, and my brother Spencer, he said that there was an odd looking deer over to the left and asked, told me to. It's got a spike. He told me to put the spotting scope up and take a look at him. And right as I put the spotting scope, I knew it was one of our hitless bucks. It was the cactus buck. After a while, Tegan decided that he was going to take this buck. So they got lined up.
was milling about for a while and finally gave Tegan the opportunity. Got him. I nice shot man. After the shot, another one of our hitless bucks actually jumped up, Spiky. He was about, if we would have just went over the hill about another 200 yards, he would have been right there. But nonetheless, this was a cool buck. Game management at its finest. You want the other horn in there? That's good. Hold it up on there. Hold with the base. Cover it up. <laughs> 